All right, guys, today we're doing a video on something I really messed up. All eight of these hives behind me are dead. And the reason is because of this honey. This is the honey I collected last year. I collected some from out on the farm and I collected some from right here. And I'm not sure where the contaminants came from, but uh, I had about five uh, 12 pack cases of pint jars that went bad. And uh, I've tested the moisture content in these. Moisture was right on. Uh, tested the moisture content in all my honey, and it was right on the money. And uh, <clears throat> for some reason, about five cases uh, went cloudy and started smelling like wet socks, which made me think it was fermented. But after checking it out and uh, talking to other beekeepers, uh, no, no one could figure out what in the world happened. So obviously something, some bacteria, or contaminant of some, some type got into some of the honey. Um, I, I had tons of honey that was just fine, but uh, like I say, about five cases went bad. And I was thinking, oh, you know what, I'll try and, and see if the bees will take it back. Maybe it's not good for human consumption. Nobody wants it if it smells like wet socks. Maybe the bees can use it. So I put three jars, three pints out and uh, let the bees have it back here at the house. And right after I did that, all eight of these hives died. So whatever's in here is no bueno. <laughs> it's bad stuff. Uh, it's a huge loss and I deeply regret it. And it's a, a big mess up. Um, I don't like feeding uh, honey back to the bees anyway, but uh, I don't know what I was thinking, but uh, that's what happened. And uh, I figure you guys can learn from my success and you can also learn from my failure. So today we're talking about my failure. And uh, this video is going to be basically me breaking down the hives and how I'm going to deal with them. And uh, I'm also going to show you all a closer look of the, at the honey so you can see what I'm talking about. And uh, we'll do that towards the end of the video. So, all right, guys, let's get started. I'm going to break these down and uh, use the frames that I can use. And uh, <clears throat> I, what I want to do is I want to strip uh, whatever honey is in these things. I want to strip it out of it uh, because I don't. I don't want to risk any of this uh, going back to new bees. So anything that's in there, I don't want new bees to be able to use. So I'm going to separate whatever honey's in there. I'm going to uh, take frames out that have any resources in it and strip those down, any of them that look bad, and uh, freeze them, strip them down, save the, the wax, and uh, I don't know. I, I might not save the wax. I'm not sure. Anyway, uh, if there's any frames that, that I feel like, uh, you know, have no chance of being contaminated, they're completely empty, uh, out on the ends, new comb, you know, stuff like that. I might save some of that for uh, like swarm traps and you know, stuff like that. So we'll see. Uh, let's go ahead and get started. Here we go. All right, guys. So basically, uh, after I fed the honey uh, in the early uh, mid to fall somewhere in there uh, middle of fall somewhere right in there uh, right after I did that all these hives died and some of the hives were getting less and less uh, bees uh, but right before it got real cold and I started throwing on this insulation onto these hives um, I checked all these just to see how they were doing and they were all dead except for this one this one still had a small amount of bees in it and it was such a small amount, I thought, there's no way they'll survive, but I'm going to give them the best chance. So I went ahead and wrapped them up in uh, insulation, and they didn't make it, of course. So I'm going to start with this one and break it down and just see kind of what we're looking at. Yep, sugar bricks haven't been touched. medium frames here. These are all empty. Empty. Empty, empty. Little bit of honey there. We'll destroy that. That one bee right here. I don't know if he's Scavenger. I 
think he's dead. Got some honey there. Looks like that honey crystallized and never got it capped. Of course, like I say, any of that honey, I'm gonna get it out of here, strip it down. Don't wanna use it. All right, as you can see on here, dead bees all around. Dead bees over here. <clears throat> I'm seeing a couple drone bees right here. So I'd say they probably didn't make it uh, too far into the process there. Anyway, let's go ahead and dig a little deeper here. I got some capped honey here. Sources, capped honey. Capped honey. They had a good bit of honey stored up for winter. the last holdouts I guess you would say I don't know if you can see but that right there is the queen right there dead and gone a little bit of them held out there sure what all this white stuff is that kind of looks like mold looks like a good bit of mold look at that mold again so it looks like this side of the hive over here had some mold and this side over here didn't so much. And then look at all the dead bees. There's a whole entire hive full of dead bees. Well, I hate this, I tell you. Not what you want. I'll never make that mistake again. down found a lot of honey in there and resources found a lot of dead bees starting over here on the end you can see looks like some pests crawled up in there afterwards couldn't make it back out all dead all dead Massive losses there. Not so many on that one. And a lot here. Look at that. Caught up in there, couldn't figure out how to get out. 
So anyway, I broke this stuff down uh, into sections. Got a wheelbarrow load of frames that have honey on it. Like I say, I'm going to uh, get rid of all the contaminated honey for sure. Uh, these here are boxes that uh, the four right there, those have honey in it just like these do. I just don't have no room left in the wheelbarrow, so I stacked them there. This has pollen in it, uh, just frames that have pollen, no uh, honey. So I don't have to worry so much about contamination, I don't think, in that. I uh, might be able to use that uh, in um, cutouts or um, splits. Sorry, I'm just taken aback by this. Uh, having a hard time forming words. Those are my ventilation boxes. These are my inner covers. Uh, these are just medium frames that have no honey in them. Deeps, empty. These right here are two boxes of comb that has absolutely no resources. So just plain old drawn comb. Don't want to lose that. Good resource. Then I have my top covers. A couple things burlap there, insulation, all my bricks that I set on top. And uh, uh, yeah, and then these frames right here are just frames that uh, need special attention basically. <clears throat> Check this out. This is one of the old cutouts that I did. You can see I rubber banded uh, little sections of comb in there. There's three big sections and they've stitched it all together. Of course, I'll remove all that now, but they were using it for quite a while. Here's a medium that I had in with the deeps that they drew out on the bottom. So there you have it. All right, so we got the deep freeze here. Got the frames that need to go in here. We're just gonna stick it in here like that. Down here, some frames that I've already had frozen because I had some wax moth damage on some of these. You can see the wax moths are frozen in place there. This one here, was, I don't know what they were thinking there, but they built like comb on top of comb. I just need to get rid of this. A little bit of wax moth damage right there. All right, so the frames that we put in there have been sitting in here for uh, about two days. So it's time to uh, deal with them. Here's uh, one of the frames where I did a cutout. You can see the sections and the, the bees glued the sections that I put in here with a rubber band, glued them together. So I'm just gonna bust these out of here, just like that. And then fancy everything up. And that'll be the process. Let's do another one here. This one had a little bit of cap tiny and it also has some nectar down in the holes. I don't know if you can see the shiny stuff. I, I believe whenever the bees uh, collected the stuff that I fed them back, they probably uh, put it in the cells but didn't get it capped because it was mid to late fall and uh, then they, they perished. So <clears throat> I definitely want to get rid of all this stuff. Honey's going to be hard to deal with. I'll probably have to wait until that honey thaws out. So that'll be a problem with uh, the other frames that I've got. Uh, I'll probably spin the honey out of the frames first. And then uh, do this process. So obviously frozen honey and nectar is hard to deal with. So just like that. All right, so I've been staying pretty busy out here in the building. It's a total mess out here, so don't mind the mess. But uh, been spinning the frames and just getting the loose nectar out of them. I uh, haven't been taking any of the honey that's capped. So basically a frame like this that would have loose nectar all around it. I've been spinning it and extracting that while leaving the stuff that's capped intact. 
I may try to uh, collect some of this because this is older stuff that uh, was collected in the spring and uh, the bees hadn't had time to cap the, the stuff that killed them. So uh, I might try and, and collect some of this and just jar it and put it on the shelf and, and keep it for a couple months and just watch it, you know. Not sure how that'll work out, but uh, that's what we're gonna try. Anyway, I've spun all these and that and that and uh, all those. And I come up with a five gallon bucket, about half of a bucket full. So that was a good bit of just nectar uh, being in there. All right, so here's the two different honeys. This is last year's honey, and this is this year's honey. This is the bad honey. This honey is still good. I've already sold all my good honey from this year, uh, so I'm using last year's just for reference here, but you can see the light comes through the jar real easy. You know, it's, it's the way honey should be. There's a little crystallization down here in the bottom and a little bit of crystallization up here in the top. <clears throat> Whereas this jar is cloudy. It's not crystallization. It's just something in the honey. And like I said, you know, I assumed that it was uh, fermented, but it's not fermented. I mean, I could check the, the moisture content right now, and you'll see it's where it should be. You can see there's a layer to it right here. There's definitely sediment or something in there, um, which, I mean, it looks just like crystallization. That's what it is. This stuff right here is bad. All right, right there you can see it's 17%. Right where it should be. That's the bad honey that you're looking at. All right, guys, so there you have it. I guess the takeaway from this is be careful what you feed your bees. Uh, I personally won't be feeding anything to my bees except for sugar water in the future. Uh, and I'll make sure that I sterilize all my containers and all that before I make the sugar water. I've learned a hard lesson here for sure. And I hope that it's helped some of you guys uh, learn from my mistake. Um, guys, I don't want you to think that I take this lightly. Um, I mean, you're looking at four or five hundred dollars per hive when you figure in how many boxes you got on there, all the wooden frames that are in the, the box the inner cover, the top cover, the bottom cover, um, and the, the cost of the bees, if you if you put a value on the bees. Um, you know, if you buy them from a place, you're looking at 150 bucks or 250 if you go with a nuke. So um, there's quite a bit of value lost here. You're talking about eight hives totally lost. Uh, that's, a, that's a chunk of money. And it's not just about the money. I always talk about uh, how I want my bees to thrive instead of just survive. Uh, if you've watched any of my past videos, you see I put insulation on my hives in the wintertime because I want to give the bees the best chance that they could possibly have. So don't think for a second that I take this lightly. Uh, this is very important to me, and uh, if I had it to do over again, I totally would have done it differently. So I care about these bees. Uh, I put a lot of effort into these bees, and uh, in the future I'll put a whole lot more effort into these bees. And uh, correct some of the the shortcomings so we're going to try and do some splits this year and try to uh, set up these hives I'm, I'm going to take these boxes and uh, this will give me a chance to repaint some of them uh, to clean them all out get everything looking nice and tidy and uh, basically start over out here and like I say out on the farm I've got about six hives out there I went from 17 hives down to six this year uh, I did a, a video prior to this one um, where I did a check out there on the farm and you'll see I had a couple losses there that were from uh, not enough bees in the hive and uh, they just didn't make it through the cold. Um, but these right here obviously they got some contaminants and that's what took them out. If you want to watch that other video uh, I'll try to link it right up here. 
I'm, I've been having trouble getting that link to work for some reason, but if it's there, it worked. If it, if it ain't, then uh, I don't know what else to do. All right, guys. I guess we'll see you on the next video. Thanks for sticking around. Thanks for uh, subscribing and, uh, and going with me through this journey. All right, we'll see you on the next one. Bye.